Sexual Assault Awareness Month proclamation. Whereas Sexual Assault Awareness Month draws attention to the fact that sexual violence is widespread and impacts every community member of Moscow, and whereas rape, sexual assault, sexual harassment impact our communities and statistics indicate that one in five women and one in 71 men will be raped at some point in their lives. Whereas child abuse prevention must be a priority to confront the reality that one in six boys and one in four girls will experience a sexual assault before the age 18. Whereas we must work together to educate our community about sexual violence, prevention, supporting survivors, and speaking out against harmful attitudes and actions. And whereas with leadership, dedication, we can be successful in preventing sexual violence in Moscow through increasing education, awareness, community involvement, and whereas Alternatives to Violence strongly supports the efforts of national, state, and local partners and of every citizen to actively engage in public and private efforts to prevent sexual violence. It is time for all of us to take appropriate action and support one another to create a safe environment for all. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Bill Lambert, join advocates and communities across the country in playing an active role to prevent sexual violence, along with the United States government and the state of Idaho, I do hereby proclaim April 2015 as Sexual Assault Awareness Month. And we have Kayla Goss from Alternatives to Violence to accept this proclamation. everyone for having us tonight. This is wonderful to be able to be here and invited to be on the agenda for this evening. Um, like Bill mentioned, um, I am Kayla and I work for Alternatives to Violence of the Palouse as, as an advocate. Um, my position and role at Alternatives to Violence is um, I am the WSU campus advocate, so I am working with a lot of um, college students and faculty members to reduce um, victimization on our campus um, and I'm also working with the students as um, they do um, need advocacy services and my other role is to um, ma manage our volunteers um, so we provide a um, semi-annual training for volunteers to work on our hotline so um, that's what I'm busy in my office doing um, so ATVP is the sole 24-hour provider of emergency services for domestic violence sex sexual assault, stalking, and other crimes in Whitman and Latah counties. This year marks our 35th anniversary, um, and we have been um, working on the Palouse since 1980. Um, we are a private, local, nonprofit organization. So we are recognizing Sexual Assault Awareness Month this April, um, and in the last year, ATVP worked with more than 100 sexual assault survivors, providing them with more than 650 hours of advocacy-based counseling. Our staff fielded more than 750 calls about sexual assault and gave 200 educational presentations on related subjects. This month is an opportunity for us to not only honor survivors, but also a time for individuals and communities to come together to raise awareness and take action against sexual assault. We encourage you to join us in challenging some community norms that contribute to sexual violence, such as acceptance of violence, blaming victims, gender oppression in media, traditional constructs of masculinity that say violence is normal, um, and notions of individual and family privacy that foster secrecy and silence when help is needed. But now is the time to end the silence and stop the violence. 
our awareness and prevention efforts um, to get people talking have included a variety of different events on the U of I and WSU campuses as well as community events, one of which is coming up this weekend. Um, Race for Action will be here in Moscow. Alternatives to Violence will be participating. Um, and again, I just want to thank you all so much for having us on your agenda, and this is a wonderful honor to be recognized in our community. So thank you so much. Thank you, Kayla, very much. For Alternatives to Violence does a wonderful job <coughs> throughout our community, whether it's completely on the Palouse, whether it's Pullman or whether it's Moscow.